Hey, what's up? My name is Jen. I am a product photographer turned Amazon seller. And in this video today, I'm super excited to share with you four unique ways that I find product ideas and they are nothing that I've seen anybody else use. So I'm really excited to jump into it. And I'm also going to share with you the criteria that I use to see if this is a product that I might potentially consider selling on Amazon. So be sure to stay tuned for all of those tips and tricks. The purposes of this video, I am gonna do some product research in the home goods or home decor space, just so you can see a couple different places that I like to look for product ideas. So the first place that I'm at here is Etsy, and I absolutely love Etsy. Etsy has a lot of homemade goods, and a lot of times you see a lot of trends start in Etsy that end up moving over to Amazon. So if you wanna be on kind of the early part of that trend, you might wanna go check out Etsy and see what's trending there. So I've just typed in here home goods, and I'm just gonna kind of start scrolling through to see if anything pops out at me. And I'm looking for products that don't require any sort of customization. So things that would be you know, easy to just procure on Alibaba and sell on Amazon. I don't need to have any sort of custom signs like we have here. And I'm also looking for products that are gonna be in the 20 to $50 price range, obviously on Etsy because things are handmade. A lot of times people are charging a higher amount than you would see on Amazon. But that being said, still looking for those higher priced items. So if something was $10, for example, I wouldn't want to try to sell that on Amazon if it's only $10 on Etsy. Now, something I'm noticing here just as I'm scrolling through is that there are a lot of neon signs and some of these don't require necessarily to be customized. For example, this glow up sign, that's something that you could sell on Amazon. And I'm sure a lot of people would purchase that either, you know, girls in their getting ready room or maybe like hair salons would purchase a glow up neon sign. There's a lot of custom ones on here, but I'm sure that there's a couple phrases like you've got this. I love that. And the price point's good. You know, it's a higher price point, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to write down neon signs as an example product that I might look a little bit more into. Okay, so super interesting. So I love Etsy because there are just so many different products on here. It's kind of an endless hunt and you can type in your niche. You're gonna wanna stick to things that are within the jewelry, clothing, uh, home and decor, wedding party favors. You're gonna find a lot of ideas on here. Toys and entertainment, arts and collectibles. These are kind of their primary categories. So there's some categories that aren't really gonna work that well with Etsy, but if you're looking for something that could potentially be handmade or you want it to appear like it was a handmade item, this is a good place to go get some inspiration, some ideas for your products. The next place we're gonna look is Pinterest. And Pinterest kind of goes hand in hand with Etsy. A lot of Etsy products end up showing up on Pinterest, but what I like about Pinterest is when you click on one item, a whole bunch of other items will pop up kind of in that category and you can just kind of go down a rabbit hole. And that's really what you have to do when you're doing product research. You have have to really kind of dig into those different rabbit holes of spaces and find what's trending and what people are really interested in. So I had just typed in home goods and um, like home decor. This one product popped up here. It's this handmade orange slice holder and I thought it was super cute. So I was thinking about maybe some sort of like ceramic uh, key holder, which I thought was really interesting. And then as I scrolled down a little bit more, the a couple things popped out at me. The first thing here is this uh, lips a uh, ceramic planter and I've seen a lot of like interesting little ceramics that people put their plants in and I'm sure there's some trending searches on Amazon but until we go dive into there we won't know what's really popular so I'm just going to write this one down as well the other things that were really standing out to me I think and I've seen these a couple times now are these anthropology tile shakers so there's not only a a tile salt and pepper, but there's also the tile spoon rest. And I just think it's so beautiful. And so I'm really curious if anybody's kind of tried to jump on this on Amazon. The thing about Amazon is a lot of times when influencers are sharing products on Amazon, they're sharing what they like to call dupes. And dupes are kind of like a remake or a cheaper version of a more expensive product. And when you're looking at products on Anthropology, Anthropology is traditionally a very expensive website. They're gonna have higher end home goods, clothing, that sort of thing. And so if you're thinking of trying to get product ideas, but maybe you wanna be a dupe, you could end up having an influencer promote your product as a dupe on Amazon. Okay, so moving on to my third favorite place to get product idea inspiration, 
And that is gonna be TikTok. TikTok has sort of an endless supply of video content around any sort of topic you want. So that's the beautiful thing about TikTok. Once you start looking for certain topics, let's say you create an account and you start following a bunch of home goods and home decor TikToks, as you start scrolling through every time you log in, they're gonna keep feeding you that type of content. So this is a good strategy if you have a specific niche and you're looking to always have new product ideas for that niche, I would definitely recommend creating a TikTok account, go follow some of those popular accounts in that niche. And then all these different product ideas are going to pop up for you. And you're going to see what's going viral, what people are going nuts about, and you can end up jumping on a trend pretty early. So just kind of scrolling through here, I'm looking for, you know, products that, and, and I just typed in home decor here. So you can, you can click on the videos and, you know, watch them and see what they're about. Okay. This is really interesting. So there's like this globe lampshade, I guess. I like it because as I'm watching her unbox it, it actually started out really, really flat. And when you're selling products on Amazon, you wanna make sure that the products you aren't, are selling aren't like super large, so you're not paying a lot for shipping. But if it looks like a high-end item, we could potentially charge a lot more for something like this. So bedroom decor rice paper shade. Okay, so that must be what it's called. So I'm gonna write that down. Next, we are gonna move on to my fourth and favorite way to get product inspiration. And it's a little app called Like To Know It. There's also an app that you can use on your phone, but I'm just here on the desktop version and as you can see it is a website that's got a whole lot of products so if you haven't seen like to know it before let me explain when there are influencers on social media sites like instagram or tiktok and let's say they post a picture and in that picture is a bunch of home decor and there's 10 different items they've got their couch they've got the blanket on their couch they've got the lamp they've got all these different products that are essentially in one picture what they can do is upload that picture to like to know it and link every single product so when they link those products they're linked to their affiliate link and so when it's linked to their affiliate link they get a commission of the sale if you go and purchase that product so a lot of times what influencers will do if they're a like home goods or home decor influencer, they will post a picture, they'll link all the products, they'll have all of their um, affiliate links on there, and then you can go shop those. So what I love about this is there's a huge movement right now with influencers to leverage Amazon because Amazon pays such good rates for their affiliate links. And so what you can do is essentially just go to like to know it, log in and search something like Amazon finds or Amazon home. And what you're gonna see is a lot of different posts from influencers posting their home decor. And when they're using these things as home decor, they're influencing other people to use these products as well. And I found a post that kind of drew my eye and I saw this little like shell, I guess, candle holder. And I thought that was interesting, but as I kept scrolling, I came across something really interesting. So if you keep scrolling down, they've got more posts from the same influencer. And as you can see, she's even just got some posts here that are just kind of like a collage of products and then she'll go link those products. So she might not even have these products, but she's promoting them. I saw this thing that said s'mores board. So I clicked on it and started playing the video and she's got this great video here showing how She's, I guess maybe for her kids put together like a little s'mores board. It's a s'mores board for summer, the perfect outdoor entertainment for guests and kids too. So I guess if you don't have like an actual uh, fire pit in your backyard, you could buy this little s'mores board and be able to make s'mores. So we can click and see where these are. Some of them may be on Amazon. Some of them may be somewhere else. So I just clicked on one, boom, here we go. I've got a portable tabletop fire pit bowl. Is what they're calling it. And what we can do next is jump into AMZ Scout and start to go see what these products look like, how much they're selling, and see if they meet the criteria that I would use to even consider moving forward with any of these products. Now we're gonna move into the analysis portion of these product ideas in the list that I've come up with here. And I'm gonna take you through some of the criteria that I like to use to determine whether this is a product I might consider selling. Let's start with this little spreadsheet that I put together here. I've got a couple different columns here. So I've got the product idea, and this can also be the keyword idea that I'm going for, because this that can be very different depending on what the keyword is. And then the next thing I have is search volume. So how many people are actually searching for this on Amazon on a monthly basis? I've also got the price point too. I wanna make sure that we're looking at products that are between 20 and $50 or more. And I also have another interesting criteria that I like to use, which is, are new sellers making money? So when I'm looking at those 
listings that are popping up from AMZ Scout. And I look at the most recent seller who started selling, how much money are they making? And does it seem like it's something that relatively new people could get in on the scene and make some money? I'm also going to take the niche score from AMZ Scout, just so we can start comparing how these different potential products stack up against each other. I started here with neon sign. The search volume is about 100,000 a month and the price point is 20 to 40, which is right where I wanna be. There are new sellers on this product because it's kind of a general product, neon sign, making money between five to $10,000 and they just launched their product in the last few months. And then AMZ Scout has given it a niche score of seven. Now, the next thing here is I looked at a more specific search term, which is good vibes neon sign. There was 9,040 search volume and the price point here was a little bit lower because it's not like a huge sign that people are selling. And the next thing I'm going to look at is are the new sellers making money? So let's go check that out. I have got the good vibes neon sign typed in here and I clicked on that to see what products they have available for that. And you can see there's a ton of these different products that are popping up here. But what I like to do is look at date first available, the DFA. And when you sort by most recent to oldest, that's gonna give you an idea of how the people who just recently started selling are performing. It's showing me the most recent seller started in July, which it, today is July 19th. So that was just a couple weeks ago and they're estimating they've made $900. Now the next one is June, they made 4,000. The next one is June, 3,700, May, 6,300, April, 2,400. Obviously we don't know how much these individual sellers are paying in terms of PPC or any of those metrics. We haven't gone to go analyze their listings, but I'm just trying to understand, get some general idea of people that have started selling at least this year, how they're doing. So what I'm seeing is somewhere between two and maybe 7,000 I would put here two to seven K. Okay. So we'll put that in right there. And then the way to grab the niche score. So right now I'm here in Amazon and I typed in the good vibes neon sign and it's giving it a five. So I'm going to add five here for the niche score. The next one I want to look at is this tabletop fire pit. I'm going to look at it in Amazon first, just to kind of get a feel for what the market looks and feels like and see what the different styles of products are. What I like about this product just jumping out at me first is there's a lot of different shapes and sizes of this product. So I'm noticing 19 to $59 to $70 to $80. So there's really like kind of a whole range and I love that there's different colors to choose from. And that really means that there is either an opportunity or there's not, it's just totally oversaturated. What's interesting here is they're actually giving me a nine for the niche score. So that's really incredible. So let's click on that and I'm gonna add that here while I'm thinking about it. And then we'll kind of run through. So I clicked on the niche score and now it's pulled up AMZ Scout. So you can see, you can either go through the application or you can use the extension. And right here, I'm using the Chrome extension. While that was loading, I went ahead and went into AMZ Scout to go look up that specific search term just to see how much volume they have. And I am absolutely flabbergasted by the volume. They've got 296,000. So now I'm kind of going, okay, what's going on here with this niche? We've got tabletop fire pit bowl is 9,000. And I'll click here on the little trend as well, because I want to make sure that this is not something that just like popped off last month. It's something that clearly is trending over time, but I'm just going to take this number here that they've, they've given the 296 and add that to my spreadsheet. I, I love that AMZ Scout actually gives you an average price. So you can see, obviously the prices are all over the place, anywhere from 20 to a hundred dollars. So we'll, we'll put that here. We'll put 20 to 100 average is 45. So that's helpful as we're looking forward to see if we want to sell this. And then I'm going to sort by clicking available from, and it looks like the most recent available from here is July 10th. So let's see how much money have they made $870. So they've only had nine days to sell. So we'll give them a chance. The next one has done 1500, 2100, 10,000. Okay, that's interesting. So we have a product here that launched in May and is doing 10,000 a month. That is kind of like popping out at me. 
and I go back, this is the beginning of the year, right about here. So I'm seeing 24,000, 9,000, 4,000. So I think we've got like 1,500 to really 24,000 in the last six months. Two, two, 24, okay. Okay, so great range. So we've got a great niche score. So this, this product's turning out to be really interesting to me. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. If there are any questions that you have, leave them in the comments.